Hi, I'm Andy from Anything Technical. Today we're going to talk about ski boot remedies. Now there are lots of different ski boot fit problems that people encounter and today we're going to talk about a heel lift which is really common. With heel lift it can be caused by lots of different reasons. It tends to be more common in women than with men and it could be various reasons. It may be the boots are naturally too big for you. Some people do buy boots that are too big. It may be that you have a fairly wide forefoot but a narrow heel and we've accommodated your foot in the wider boot but because of that your heel's slightly loose. It may be that you've been using a boot and over a period of time the inner boot's padded out and when that happens the boot naturally becomes looser everywhere. Now there's various ways of overcoming this but a very common way and a very simple way is to what we call a butterfly ankle volume reducer. Now with these they're sold two in a pack there are two different sizes. Size small covers 22 Mondo size up to 25.5 and the larger size covers 26 up to 32. Now they're shaped like a butterfly, hence the name, but they are flatter on the top and more curved on the bottom. So they go onto the inner boot like so. So the flatter section is above. As you put them on, Fairly straightforward. Take your ski boot, undo all the buckles, remove the inner boot, which some people may never have done, but inner boots generally come out fairly readily. And once you've located by putting your foot inside the boot roughly where your ankles sit, you can then determine where you need to position the volume reducer. And it's going to sit something like that. And to stick it on, again, fairly straightforward. It is naturally sticky backed, so just peel off the unit here, like so. And then we tend to just blast that with a hot air gun, maybe even a, a hairdryer would do the job. We have a paint stripper, so we'll just give it a quick blast and then naturally stick it on in position. And then you're ready to put it back into the shell. Now, some people find it difficult to put an inner boot back into a ski boot. The simplest method we find is to put it on like a, a glove puppet. And then let's come back to this one. So there's the inner boot. And with your hand right to the front, just push down here and slide it in. Now you may find as it goes in, some of the green material will start to creep up again. It may bend over. Just go down with your fingers, push it flat, and then the shell will naturally hold it back in position again. And it will remain located, hopefully forevermore. Now you may find that by putting one on, may not be sufficient. You might try that and the heel's still a little bit loose. You can always stick one on top of another. It will be buying two different packs of them, so slightly more expensive, but in nearly all cases that will prevent heel lift. As I said, it's a very common problem that people have. You can't control your skis properly, the boots just don't feel right. Stick that on and hopefully everything's going to get Thank you. For further information on the product, please follow the link in the description. Please like us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.